Since the Lord likes me telling all my business, let's jump right in. I want to talk about hidden sin. The Lord keeps raising this up in my heart to talk about in these videos. You know, refraining from sex is one of the hardest things to do as a believer that is still single. In my journey with the Lord, it is one of the conversations that he and I have regularly had because I have said to him from the beginning of this journey, Lord, I can do a whole lot of things right, but you asking me to not have sex before marriage is extremely difficult. I used to tell him that is next to impossible. I don't even really understand how you think we could do that. And in the process of getting to know the Lord and walking in my journey, trying to live for God, getting into relationships, even relationships with other believers, I have definitely messed up in that space and had sex. And in those moments, I would feel so much condemnation. But one of the things the Lord taught me was to never keep that hidden. If you keep your sins hidden, the devil will always use that against you. He will cause you to walk in so much condemnation that you start feeling like I shouldn't even walk with the Lord. I shouldn't even be trying anymore. That's the trick that he will use against you. So when I have walked in that space of having sex before marriage, I always find someone to tell. I have told my pastors, I have told my dad, I've told my mom, I tell my prayer partners, I find somebody that I know will not judge me and will encourage me and hold me accountable. I remember I told somebody that I was dating once that it happened with that I had told my dad and they were like, what, you told your dad? <laughs> yes, I told my dad because I know he's not gonna judge me and I know that he will hold me accountable. I also told my pastor, when I first came to God as a, an, an adult, my first pastor was Apostle Jeff and Pastor Linda, Apostle Linda. And I told Apostle Jeff one time because I was doing sound for the church and it had happened and I went to him and I said, Apostle Jeff, I cannot do sound anymore. I feel like a hypocrite. This happened and it is so difficult for me to stay out of that space especially when you're dating someone. Now, I'm not talking about random sex of random people. Those days are far gone. I'm talking about trying to be in a relationship with someone that you potentially can marry and then walking into that place of having sex. So when I went to Apostle Jeff and I said, I cannot do sound anymore. I feel like a hypocrite standing up here doing this, knowing what I did yesterday or knowing what I did last week. And Apostle Jeff said to me, Angel, if every person that God has called to do something in the church didn't do it because they had sinned and messed up, then you wouldn't have any teachers. You wouldn't have any preachers. We wouldn't have a worship team. Nobody would be doing anything, Angel, because we all mess up. He said, the thing you have to do is that you have to overcome that. I don't think he had any idea the freedom that he allowed me to walk in when he said that to me. See, if you do not allow the sin to stay hidden, God will send somebody to encourage you because we all get it. We all understand. And chances are the person that you tell, they've been there too. So do not let the enemy keep sin hidden. Tell somebody that you can trust so they can hold you accountable and the devil will not be able to keep you in condemnation and also bound to that sin. 